Or should be updated. All right, so we've played with Judith in a few different shells so far. And every deck we put this card in just feels absurd. So, like, while this card is legendary, when you play your second Judith, the one of them dies. And then you get to deal two damage to things still. And... It's just incredibly consistent and powerful. Any any creatures you have out before it get beefed up. Man, I really think not playing four Judith in here is probably a big mistake. I kind of want to trim one of these Plague Crafters before we start, but let's play a couple of matches and see how the Plague Crafters feel. That's gonna be that's gonna be my eye for one of the first changes I want to make to this deck. Generally, so for people who are familiar with my stream, we play a lot of viewer submitted deck lists. So someone sent this deck list in along with the donation, asked me to play it in a few matches, give some feedback on it. Usually I play decks for somewhere between 90 minutes and two hours. And we're gonna play through some games with this. In my experience, I basically always want for Judith, because when the first one dies, I want another one to replace it. And if we gum up on them, they still turn into shocks. <clears throat> that I plan on adding to the website. I'm gonna be adding Bant Flash and I'm probably gonna add Bant Flash, Mardu Aggro and Black White Angels to the website. And then I'm probably gonna take some of the old ones that are up there like Sultite Merfolk felt a little bit mediocre when we played it. So I'm probably gonna like take that one down. I'm gonna update the elves list to be the green red, the green red rhythm elves that we played today. I don't know, I don't really have a Bant, a Bant Nexus list that I like right now. We do have, there are only, so one of the other things I was looking at this deck list, there's only three copies of Blade up to stage two. So like, I think if the, I think if the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the Plague Crafters end up being mediocre. We could go like up, up, up a light the stage and we could go up a, uh, up a Judith. The spectacle animation is slick. Yep. Oh, nope. So don't play your land before you light up the stage because light up the stage lets you play lands for some reason. God bless. No, I'm just going to cast this. Yeah, I, think so. I don't want to get stuck with too many cards over here that aren't good enough. That's rough. So like... So do I want to Lightning Strike this plus Fanatical Firebrand at next turn? I think I do. I think I just need to take this big this big butt out of the way. Another thing that's really powerful about Light Up the Stage is that it lets you play the card through the end of your next turn. That's incredibly awkward. Do I skewer here? I probably like. Skewer yeah, I'm probably supposed to. There's no guarantee I can hit next turn, right? Like they could just like they could play like if this is a dinosaur's deck, they could play Rip Draw Raptor here. Okay. All right. Well, I wonder if they're missing a color. They played three basic for us. I feel like there's a good shot they're missing a color. This is probably a good matchup for Pestilent Spirits, actually. Mm -hmm. He gets to attack through stuff. Lightning Strike's probably a little bit mediocre. This is probably a good Lava Coil matchup as well. Maybe Bedevil also. They probably have, like, Land War Elves and stuff like that in their deck, which makes this mediocre. It's too bad they have this card, I'm probably going to cut this card from the sideboard. So I would want to bring this card into a matchup like this where I think the board's going to gum up. There's only 12 black sources in this mana base. You cannot cast a black, black card consistently on this mana. Playing Pestilence Spirits and not playing Carnival Carnage seems like a little bit of a miss. That card seems really good with that touch. Yeah, the mana, mana skewed in the red direction. All of our all of our one drops are cast off mountain. I do like the the pirate the pirate goblin with Judith mm -hmm. that like turns into a shock. <clears throat> oh, the conquistador, vicious conquistador. Yep. Yeah, no, the uh, the one drop we played. 
Oh, this one? This, this one was in here? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, You're not talking about the Conquistador that I'm playing? The one, two? No, I'm talking about the red one. Oh, yeah. That sacrifice the deal of damage? Yeah. Oh, the... F yeah. Firebrand. Fire firebrand, brand. yep. Yeah. Fanatical Firebrand. Oh, this hand is, like, really good if I have an untapped land. I'm on the draw. Di Diagonal Monkey. <laughs> Comes into play tapped and attacking. Oh, I am turning all my things this many degrees to speak to This one. This one. This is the Angry Goblin. I'm turning my cards that way when I tap them this weekend, by the way. Not me. What would you splash for in black green? I don't know. What problem are you trying to fix? It's like, does black green have a problem that you fix by splashing? Oh, they're playing black green at range. Go garbage. Got it. There are, there are Golgari deck that uses the graveyard. They, 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 they dig through the trash, chat. I think Theater of Horrors plus Experimental Frenzy can both make it in one deck. I don't know. Like, what do you... Why do you need both of those? Why do you need two engines for some reason? Here we go. I also really like... Uh, excuse me. This card with Midnight Reaper is kind of absurd. Stairs and draw a card, I think. I have lava coils to draw two. To draw some cards here. I just clear their board out. I like shock this, bedevil this attack. I guess I go shock, shock, play this smash. Yeah, that's the line. So, want to make sure we shock the Midnight Reaper first. They draw one less card here. While this is dealing damage to them, they're not low enough that I'm ready to, like, start doing that. To, like, start hammering them. The cards are still valuable. Hey, TVF Max. Thank you very much for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed here. This deck can't cast spawn consistently, Admiral O's bot. In fact, I'm going to cut it from the sideboard after this match. You need approximately... 17 black sources in your deck to kill spawn or to cast spawn consistently early put it put it one of their lesson here do i do i just try and race them here like they obviously don't have an explore creature right so i think i just sack this shoot them and then like skewer this does two this does three like you have to okay so let's this is fine let's shoot them for two and i'll hold the devil up Let's just hold the bedevil up just in case. That's how we lose, right? Yeah, definitely. That's how we do this. And, you... and like killing this will deal one to them, and then next turn this will deal two. Sacrificing here, yeah. this will deal three. Bedevil on this will kill them. Yeah. So if they don't have a way to take this off the table, they're done next turn. Yeah, yeah you have nine points basically in your hand. Yeah, I definitely think there's a good deck for spawn somewhere in the format, but this deck isn't it. Like, what this deck is doing. Sure. They have a card. You don't have to fling. Yeah, I know. Enjoy your cards. Are your cards yummy? Nice, nice Midnight Reaper post board against the modern red deck. Cha -cha! There's 22 sources enough in a deck that tops out at 6 CMC? Uh, no. If your deck's trying to curve out to 6, you probably want 25 or 26 lands in your deck, depending on how many other effects you have. 
This main deck seems pretty sweet, except for these Blade Crafters. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. I feel like I want more of these cards still. I'm definitely cutting these Spawn of Mayhems. I'm gonna put extra Theaters in, because this card's absurd. Put extra Lava Coil in. No, we need red sources to consistently play Fanatical Firebrand on one. Yeah. I can't believe there's no Freebooters. What do you free, need Freebooter for? I guess it's good with Judy. It is really good with Judy. You gonna try some of those on the board? Uh, I mean, I put... I mean, I don't know. Pestilence Spirit's okay, but like... Do you really need Banefire? Are you ever Banefiring for this much? Yeah, that's so true. Much? That's true. I like that. Like, do you like a mix of Duress and Kite Steel Freebooter? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Just because resource efficiency is really important on that? Yeah, you like to attack. Attacking too. I think uh, Theater of Horrors on average is better than Experimental Frenzy in almost every deck that's not exploring. Well, that's my that's my hot take. If your deck can cast Experimental Frenzy and Theater of Horrors, you should be playing Theater of Horrors. Theater of Horrors is like really, really good. People have been asking me for hot takes and like my picks for the best card in the new set. Theater of Horrors is one of my picks for the best card in the new set. Rhythm, rhythm is up there too, but I think Theater of Horrors is being is is one of those cards that's gonna power a breakout deck somewhere. It's very powerful. It is it is the most powerful type of that type of effect we've ever seen printed, and weaker versions have seen play in other formats. We're going first, unfortunately, so this is fine. Perfect. Do you want to keep that? I'm on the play. You're on the play, yeah. You get to go one, two, three. Are you kidding me? I'm on the play, Matthew. Yeah, you're on the play. You don't know when you're in. Now we just this is, this is on top of my deck. I'm on the play. Oh, we're on the play. And I'll get rid of it. Yep. I think Theater of Horrors is playable and modern. Is Theater of Horrors brutal and efficient? And does it help you win the game by turn four? Probably not. So that means it's not good and modern. Modern is about brutal efficiency and combo killing your opponent as quickly as possible while ignoring them. Cast, cast Theater of Horrors. You know what Crocodile Ironworks going to do? They're going to kill you. They're going to be like, nice magic card combo. <laughs> Listen, Matthew. I had Tito's with lunch. Matthew had Tito's with lunch, okay? <laughs> if I'm cutting some slack. Well, until they put one. Uh, Jade Light next turn, that is. That's funny. I don't know how we ever beat this card when they trigger. It's fine. Man, Midnight Reaper into Judy. Second Judy sounds good too. Why not attack and shock? Because it's incredibly resource inefficient and there's no guarantee that they block. I don't think that's true. Yeah, man. This is a lock. This is pretty good. Like, it is GD, great. Yes, 100 million perfect. I mean, I guess it draws a card, too. Sure does. Wow, all right. Well, they're exploring some more. Got it? Sure are. Uh, we've tried to play Vintage on stream in the past, but Magic Online doesn't have a lot of people who play it. Do you want to turn the Shock into a new card? I thought about it, yeah. This, this deals two to them. It lets me draw a card, and it deals one. So, like, that seems like a really good trade for me, right? Because, like, this means it doesn't resolve, so they don't gain two from it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just attacking again. Like, call him. Right, so upstairs. Light him up. They're on fire! Isn't Bedevil as hard to cast a spawn? Okay, so here's here's an important. That's a good thing to point out, but here's an important, dif a different bit of map. Spawn is a card that you want to play on turn three and turn four consistently. Bedevil is a card that you don't need to put into play or cast until turns five and six some of the time. So basically when you wait 
to cast spawn, it's a big deal. And when you wait to cast Bedevil, it's a lot less of a big deal. I think I just pass here, right? Yeah, yeah. Next turn, play Judy to shock them plus draw a card. Attack me. I just do this, right? I can kill their Merfolk Branch Walker. So, play the second legend. Legend rule, one of them dies. Get three triggers. This is, this is why you should put four Judith in your deck. You're actually like, not in the world's worst spot. I, I agree. Like this Wild Growth Walker's gained 15 and we're kind of in this game. I'm gonna cash this in this turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, just deal two and draw card. Deal three draw card. Excuse me, three. Triggers. This deck is sweet. This is the this the gutter bones thing. I don't know, like so, like oh. this isn't this isn't playing gutter bones. That's so good. Holy crap, that's good. <laughs> you can almost kill him. Yeah. You can almost take the wild growth walker. Yeah. I don't think it's. Hard. They've been through a lot. Oh, God. Remember when we put another one of this in the deck? That one right there. Oh, boy. Skew. Oh, buddy. I would, yeah, I would have skewed them, like, to the melon. Like, they're going to have to start attacking. Yeah, Shock does two damage because this does one damage from its ability and then Judith does one. So sacrificing the goblin, they gain 15 this game, chat. They'd be they'd be dead otherwise. Did I trade those here? No, I, I, no, no. You no. just want to throw stuff. If you can. Two is really really. Do I cast Judith in here? Probably not. Do I no. sack him to himself? No, no, no. I think you just keep waiting. Like, you could. I mean, you could. What does that do? Three. Three. It does three plus it draws an extra card. Yeah, I would go for that. I think I just I trade this for two cards, right? Or do I just play this and pass? Probably just play this and pass. Yeah, I, I attack with everything next turn. Yeah, yeah I wait and attack. Cause like, and if they throw this in, I block here. Yeah. yeah. If they don't do anything. And like throw two plus draw two. Yeah, they're, they're going to die if they don't hit. Like, a, a, even a sweeper sucks here for them. <laughs> uh, no, I guess a sweeper kills us, right? Because the Wild Growth Walker, a full sweeper, but like finality would be bad for us. Finality's bad. That is awesome. Well, how's your aggro deck beat the game, 15 chat? Well, you see. You know what just happened there? They were like, oh, why is Earthwalker? I can't with some honor And then they just took their deck and just. Do you shit. think their computer's okay? Do you think. Do you think their computer's okay? That, that was truly wonderful. God, good gosh. That was fantastic. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep this because I have light up the stage to draw to. You have a test recall, it's fine. This card's messed Remember that time they gave Mono Red one mana divination? Yeah, it's not okay. Remember that time they gave Mono Red one mana divination? Oh God. Oh no! Oh no! Divination not good enough! Oh no! Land! 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 Judy. The 
Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. The opponent does not see this practical animation. Alright. Alright, onward, <laughs> upward, backward, forward. Does light up the stage to play outside of standard? Yeah, probably. You think you need to be devils? You think so? I don't know, just coil's probably fine. Oh yeah, man. I, I mean, could just trade coil for strike for coil. You think shock is better than these cards? For the most cards? I think so. Only kills tide takers. I'll take one bedevil. Shock. Thanks, I see. If they are playing Black White Angels, we don't know. But if I think Shock is much worse than Lightning Strike. Actually, I could bring in this. That's also fine. <sighs> oh yeah, I guess they have um, three, three. they have the three three. Yep. Oh, it kills the four three two technically. My shop had you playing in the background? Awesome. That's another reason people often ask me why I try not to swear while I stream. I know there are several places whose shops often put my stream on. God bless them. Sick. I kind of like this build better than what you were doing the other night. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> the Conquistador is busted in half. Yeah, but like the cost at what your mana is doing is big. Yeah, the mana sucks. Like the mana is much better in this deck it's because it's red because deck. it's it's base red it's 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 base red that's trying to play black cards on three, yeah. which is a good way to approach playing your spells consistently. Yeah. Like the doors. like I agree that your deck your build's probably better when you can cast your spells, but you had so many games without your mana last night. Expand Flash. I don't know what it's called on my stream decker page. If you go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland, um, you'll be able to find all of my videos from the last couple days on there. And in the video description for each of the videos, you can find a deck list that you can import into Magic Arena directly. Holy crap. Are they, I was like, are they paying for here? That's good, Rip. Play the angel. Beauty. So I attack with this. They, if they block, I draw a card and they take two. This combo is the best part about the deck, honestly. This this year, yep. The, I miss Gutter Bones because of the locks, but like, it's, I mean, the Judith plus Minary. The fact that this card is Menace is a really big deal. Yeah, because, like, the fact that it's a Death Touch with Menace means that you get to kill both the things that blocked it. Yeah, it's very good. Every everything draws two cards. Everything deals damage. He also lets you have outs and stuff like Leer without putting bad cards in your deck. Yeah, it does that too, Bob. Who does? Uh, this card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you can just shock it, which is nuts. Yeah, it is. And I'm drawing two and they're taking one. And, like, if they play a Leer in extra and I just strike this before it attacks. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm not playing this as much as I'd like to because if they have Lyra next turn, I need to kill this because I don't want them to gain five. Although... I think it's 
supposed to wait. Actually, yeah, I think I messed up it's because spirit. I have this. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit. Yep, yep, yep. This was a mistake. So I should have played this. I thought about it more. And because I have the Pestilence Spirit, I'm supposed to let this hit me. Oh, they're not even attacking. Wow, that's good. Wow, this, this card is sweet. Yeah, so they, they'd be dead right now if I'd have played this last turn because I'd be attacking with it. Yeah. yeah, they take nine exactly. Ah, uh, they'd be taking seven, right? So they'd block here and they'd take six plus one, but still, like, they'd be very close to dead. <laughs> and this this is a shock next turn. So this this is a shock and like these are shocks and this has menace and just like Second Lyra is pretty good here. I want a third copy of this card, I think. Deal. Oh, I can fork both. Yeah, I can play Judith, keep the old one, shoot both of these. The fact that this is a blood art. Never, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the Shredder deck for the season. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, the red, like, two. Yeah. Keep this one. This is, again, if your deck wants Judith, play four of her. Never, never not for Judy. Never. You could have just killed them. Never. Shut up. Sir, shut up. It's fine if you don't want to kill him. <laughs> and then my diagonal goblin wouldn't get to it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What's a shredder deck? One of our one of our buddies, his name is Shredder, and all he knows how to do is uh, hit hit it. All he knows how to do is hit attack. <laughs> so when we find the good when we find the good smork deck for the season, we always call it the shredder deck. There is not any way, that's a good question. So there is not any way to get multiple Judith triggers with the Firebrand. This is a state-based action checking for legendaries. You don't get a chance to respond to it. Be it would be real busted. Maybe. Huh. Uh, I think it's fine. Why does Judith trigger stack when she dies? Because Judith triggers when, when she dies herself and she sees the other Judith sees the other one die. I think I'm happy with how I boarded here. Yeah. Here's a question. Do I want to board up on the draw? I thought about that, but I don't think you do. I mean, like... I can just, like, swap these. That's pretty rough. You're not doing a bunch of damage this way. I don't know. I wouldn't want to play a long game against the Angels deck. I don't know. I feel like we can. I don't, I don't think that's true. I mean, you can try it. I mean, you can try it, but... The one ones also don't do anything. The card doesn't do anything, either. I mean, it trades up pretty well. Let's just leave it. Imagine if Judith wasn't legendary. Yeah, that'd be real absurd. Judy, Judy is legendary and important. The way Magic Arena shows legend is nice, too. They're actually both the board at the same time, so it's easy to, like, visually represent this, this hand. If you're on the play, this hand's insanity. If you're on the play, this hand's just nuts. I mean, on the draw, I'm keeping it, right? Yeah, so too. you just have to hope this... When would you put the theater in the main? That's a good question. Honestly, I think I think there's probably a mid-ranger aggro deck that just wants theater in the main, but like it's also competing with light to light up the stage, and like light up the stage also means that you want to have a lower curve in your deck so you can play the cards up from it consistently. That's really bad for me, Black Source. Alright. Oh. Shoot them here. Yeah, I think I think I just shoot and then light the stage, right? And you want to make sure you do this before you play your land, because you can land pretty mediocre stage. I keep getting I keep getting caught with my hand in the cookie jar when we play when we play light up the stage. Yeah, it's like it's like a mini theater fragger. That's a good way to put it. I think light up the I think the theater, at least as far as main decks are concerned, 
is probably a little bit better um, suited for a more mid-ranger control deck. That sweet. Black source, please. Whoa. All right, next one. Why? Why headphones? And I guess I can't make you a mod. That's weird. Uh, because I can hear Matthew. And if I can't hear Matthew through my headphones, that probably means he's not talking loud enough for the microphone. Yeah, the if you're familiar with using Wine, as you get more familiar with using Wine for running games on Linux especially, you definitely want to use staging almost all the time. When you draw land, I suppose, you can't pop. <laughs> when you don't, it's like... <coughs> yeah, but like, the difference between not needing black till three and needing it on one is a big difference. Sure. What are my thoughts on Hydroid Creases? It seems pretty slow and clunky, but I haven't played with it firsthand. Pyromancer's been pretty sweet too. Especially with Judy, it's just like a deal three most games. Like an extra lightning strike. Yeah. I just strike this and attack them, right? Yeah, turn your turn your turn. Good game, Scano. Good luck in those matches today. Sure. I think I'd rather lead on this. Should be that more power and play like Later down the line, like it lets you attack next turn with the, with this with all these, yeah. yeah. So I do this, do this. Clear it out. Like if they want to trade, that's fine. If they don't, yeah. This is like this is like a trade, right? Like it's taking my card away, but my card already dealt four damage to them. And if they block here, I then get to draw a card with it. So like I basically now this card's done six. So like it's kind of all upside for us here. We need to dodge, like, Frasca's Contempt here is, like, one of the better cards they could have, because if they exile Midnight Reaper, that'd be very good. Plus, gaining life is also great for them. I can't say that's actually not that big of a deal. Uh, just attack with both. Yeah, either kills them. Yeah, either kills them. If they block both, we deal three to them. If they go to nine, and then we play Vanisher Pyromancer, put them to seven. Yeah. This card was... Uh, we played this in the Mardu aggro deck we played the other day, and it was really impressive in there. I do like I do like the gutter bone synergy, but it's very slow. So, one of the things Matt and I have been talking about, Matt's actually been playing a build of Red Black Aggro that plays Gutter Bones and Vicious Conquistador. And the problem with that build is that when you're trying to cast black spells consistently on one while also playing red two and three mana cards, like, your mana your mana becomes a lot more inconsistent. While this deck is black and red, it's also only looking for black and red mana. There's a lot of swaps in your deck. Yeah, it's only, it's only looking for black mana by the third turn of the game. We played Red Black Pirates yesterday and it wasn't fantastic. It was really clunky. I think I wait a turn, right? Really? Can we attack with both here? I would attack with the Pirates. I would not attack. I don't know. If I attack with both and they eat Judith, uh, they take. They go down to three. And then I have like double Footlight in play. Six, five, four, three. Whereas if I attack with this, they get two Spirits. I think I attack with both or nothing. I think it might be nothing. I only like attacking with both because it doesn't does a Lightning Strike or Skewer. I think I want to sit tight. They missed a the land drop, right? I'm pretty sure. That's true. So, like, they need land plus Lyra. If they have land Lyra, we're in trouble. But if they don't have land Lyra, we're going to be pretty well off. We're about to get Clarion. Clary on my wayward son. 
will be peace when you are gone. This makes attacking a lot worse, because it's first strike you kill Judith. Do I play this first, or do I say attack with this, this, and this? Uh, I probably would attack, because you can shoot them for one to turn it on to make it cheap. Yeah, I think so. It's a little rough. Like, these are shocks, and this is a deal one? Yep. And they might not want to trade. I think they probably block all three of these, right? I would assume so. You can also play up here on the board now, if you inclined. I don't think, I think you can kill them. I think I just want to kill them. Yeah, they're, they're low enough that I just want to kill them. So. All of my things are dying. Their knights are dying. I'm going to get five triggers here. So, I have two draws and a shock or a lightning strike to kill them now. Even a lot of Even like another lightning strike. Oh, the goblin does it too. Guy. Yep. Alright, so this is lethal next turn if they don't find a way to gain life or kill him. I should have played that. Whatever. Hopefully they're reading him. And not and not planning to kill him. Not able to kill him. <laughs> you have vigilance. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, Judith was lethal there too. We had so many lethal draws. Well, now they can't block, right? Uh, correct. Oh yeah, we're dead. They're dead. They're dead regardless. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. Like they needed Vraska's contempt, right? Otherwise, they're just dead regardless. Even, even the aggro decks in this format have a lot going on. I love it. Yeah, this deck, like, normally red aggressive decks like this don't have tricks like this one does. And this deck, this deck's got a lot of tricks in it. Tricks are for more than just kids chat. Listen, if you want a low animation mode to play standard magic, magic online still supports standard. Oh, you will not. not you will not be overwhelmed by angel angel animations there. Here in Arena Land, we love us some animations. Got some more got some more of them angel animations opponent. Listen, I know I've gotten punished every other time I've kept this hand today, but this is, what's the cumulative variance someone told me yesterday on Twitter? Cumulative variance states that we want to, that we want to keep this hand. We're owed, we're due, we're due, Matthew. We are due to hit. This hand even has the black source in it. we're rolling here. Oh, perfect. I wish, I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking by saying cumulative variance, but I am not. Someone actually typed the words cumulative variance into a tweet and meant it. Come on, one time. One time, how about one in three? Come on. Here we Woo! Just drew four cards. Technically, we only drew three cards, but oh, still, still, still good enough. Yeah, you get lost. So we do lose this one here. Oh no, boy! Let me. It's a little, it's a little unfortunate. It might have been greedy to play the second light there. Nah, I don't know. We're just I don't even get the light up yet. Like, I don't know if it's 
Uh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna skewer this. Yeah, seems good. Where's the good line? I was like, I didn't even see that at first. I just like sit there. I was like, all right, how do we, how do we do this? How do we do this? All right, that's how. Got it. And then next turn, if they don't have anything, they leave this back. We can Judy and then kill this with the firebrand. Judy. Literally lightning bolt. Minimal. I think I pass, right? Uh, I mean, so... So I think I pass because next turn I can strike this and then Firebrand can clear up both the tokens. <laughs> like, we're definitely not in an amazing spot. We really want to hit a painless land tier so we can play another two drop along with it. Yeah, I agree. The music, the music updates in this uh, this one have been great. So you can't kill a knight, which sucks. I'm probably a little bit too far gone. That's right. We get to be able to play for the last one. Oh, you're pretty good now. Stop it. You think you're dead? They got two cards. I'm at three. You think you're, you're dead? Yeah, no, I've had fine. three, Matthew. No, you're fine. Seraph, Seraph closes out pretty quick. Stupid questions that, of course, oh, I want to play. Oh, baby. What do you think will be some of the best performing decks in Ravnica Legion Standard? Green, black, mid range, chest guy control, blue, red drakes, white splash, red aggro. Something, something growl. Yes, Judith damage cannot target the knight. Oh, would you look at that? All right. Just need. Land. And by that I mean they're gonna play a knight. I'm gonna do this to it. So what are this deck's bad matchups? This deck probably has bad draws more than bad matchups. The fact that Flip Fireblade turns this into a floor ball is really good. Yeah, it's very nice. Just like even on a stall board, you're like, alright, Boros Charm you. Yeah, fire fireblade is definitely really good. Red source. Red source. Red source. Red source. If we would have hit a red source here, we would have gotten skewer this. Yeah. Now we have to now we have to pump breaks. Yeah. You I mean you still could have skewered in this turn, but it would have been bad. Yeah, would have not been good. The opponent does not see the spectacle animation. The time to consider a 20 second Whoa! land. Yeah, maybe. So far, the only games we've lost are not hitting our third land, <laughs> or like not hitting our fourth land. So yeah, probably, probably want one more of those. There's only 21. Yeah, let's get another land in here. I'm gonna trim a shock. I'm gonna add a swamp. Cut that Judith. Cut Judith. Stop <laughs> it. Get out of here. <coughs> Cry the Cardinal is bug. Is it? All that collective variance. We, had, we ran we ran good the rest of the day, so that cumulative variance says that we should be we were due we were due to get some run bands in.
Can I keep this? It's like like four lanes is not great, but like yeah, the six is good, right? You play? Yeah. yeah. What's the best deck of the day so far? It's either this or it's either this or the oh, uh, you're, dead. you're dead. Stop it. Right on time, fanatical firebrand. It's either this or black white angels. Cut a land, baby. Yep, exactly. So you understand. Given the frequency of deck checks, the typical STG event is the correct number of Judas 4 or 5. Damn it, Twitch chat. So, I think I Firebrand shoot their Tithe Taker here so I can attack with my Choo Choo's. You're, you're not wrong, Rod. You're not wrong. Jane Whirler would really love to be what's going on here. What's my opinion on Carnival Carnage? I was really hyped for that card when I first looked at the spoiler, but it's been a little bit mediocre in the games I've actually played with it. So if I sacrifice both of these, Shock and Lightning Strike both are lethal. Another Skewer is lethal too, so I think I just like go for it here. And like, they're not like, they're, it's not like they're gaining life this turn. So I might as well just like do this and then like, I've got like one or two turns to draw lethal at this point. They've only got five power in play. <laughs> oh, open mouth interval. Oh, we got one turn to draw lethal. Got it. Yeah, Vanny Show was also lethal. Nope. Oh, all right. It's like we drew it up. This is, it's just better television if they have heroic reinforcements and then I draw it next turn. It puts, puts a little suspense in the movie, okay? I knew, I knew what was going on the whole time, Chad. Everybody, everybody calm down, okay? Magic is easy, just draw what you need. Exactly. What do I want to do here? I, I wonder, I part of me wants to click submit. Another part of me wants to board in Theater of Horrors so we can generate card advantage. I feel like Midnight Reaper might be a liability in this matchup. And like, I want to swap him for Theater. That doesn't seem unreasonable. There's a few different Jund aggro decks in my deck queue. One of them's called Jund Judy, actually. Let's try this. I'm not sure if it's right or not, but let's give it a try. Yikes. All right, let's draw one drop on one and a two drop on two, shall we? Thanks, McCartney. I just do me here. Thanks for the compliment though. Boondock Saint, thanks very much for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that, welcome, welcome. So we got Vanisho into Judy here. It might be right to play theater on two, actually. Getting theater down ASAP so it could start collecting cards is huge. Like, the fact that you don't... One, another one of the reasons why this card is so powerful is because, like, it doesn't... It, you don't have to play the card it draws the turn it draws it. So if you get it down early, it can start saving up cards, basically. How many other decks am I going to be playing today? I'm going to do at least one more after this. We just had absurd viewer numbers today, so I'm not going to sign off while we have a bunch of people here. Light up the stage makes me want to play Judy this turn. Judy, like, also blocks a little bit more meaningfully.
think I'm playing Judith because I need to pump the brakes here for a second. If they... If they attack with Tithe Taker, I can block with Pyromancer, shoot other Tithe Taker, and then, like, the second Judith shoots both of these. What was our peak viewer today? Some, about now, I think. Where we've got, like, 3,300 people here, it looks like. And thank you, everybody, for being here. I appreciate everybody stopping. I hope everybody's having a good weekend wherever they're at. Hope you all are enjoying the new set as much as I am. I'm heading, heading, heading towards hour 30 of playing standard for the last few days and just loving every minute of it. I am glad that we added the extra land. All these games that we keep struggling with just are very much centered around not having enough mana. So I think I'm going to play... Fight flame blade fire blade artist here and attack and they can double block but then i'll shoot them for one with judith which will then let us light up the stage to hopefully hit a land drop so i think i need to trigger my spectacle here okay okay <laughs> this this card's really good If they attack with this, I'm trading. Very, very easy block. Block this, take four, shoot one of these. Get to untap, go shock, lightning strike this, because these are going to go away at end of turn. Play the next Judith out. This, this is really feeling like... feeling like we could have a shot here so i need to play this now because it's going to go away at the end of my turn then like depending on how good these last few cards are like judy can block this shoot this and then we're kind of at parity and then maybe theaters of theater of horrors could pull us out ahead war wizard you're given a 10 minute timeout for referring to a magic the gathering card as cancer Please, please have a little bit of empathy and let's not refer to the children, things in the children's card game as diseases that kill people. Please and thank you. Yeah, yeah, if we can keep them off of reinforcements, if, or if I keep them off, I mean, hope they don't have it. I think we're on en route to stabilizing here. So I'm going to eight. This is dying. They have a one, one. So we'll see what their follow-up is here. Even just threat, threat here is pretty good. Honestly, I'm just going to go theater and just skewer this. This only does a damage to opponent or planeswalker, right? Yeah. Now, I think the main deck's pretty reasonable for best of one. That's very good. I understand you are in need of support. This is dead very quickly. I can skewer this next turn, which is nice. Saying, so you're saying there's a chance. Uh, that stops Vanishal Pyromancer. Sure. Strength 
Is also bold. just gets bigger. Struggle. No blocks. So, I guess I should wait on this. So, I can theater them for one. Which lets me, which lets me play this. I think I'd rather play the Footlight than the Fanatical Firebrand here, right? Because I can play both of these through the end of next turn, so there's really no reason to be super aggressive with it. So assuming they draw a brick here, they plus on these, and then Footlight blocks here, and then I deal two damage to these, and then Fanatical Firebrand blocks here, sacrifices itself, and deals two to a Johnny. And this is kind of the, like, like this game's really kind of going to show, I was talking about there's some kind of mid-range or control deck with Theater of Horrors, and like, this game is really showing, like, how Theater of Horrors can let us grind, right? Like, we're an aggro deck, and we are drawing a lot of cards. Of all the chats ever been by far the least toxic. Thanks, Sassy Dog. And like, we might actually be able to kill a Johnny next turn with these cards we have in our hand. And like, they're kind of due to be drawing some lands here. Like, obviously that's not how it works, but like, there's more lands than spells in their deck likely, right? So if I... I can just shock plus lightning strike this now. I really like the the Bant Flash deck. We've been playing something very close to what Nox has been playing to good success. Alright, if they don't draw a haste threat here, we're in a good spot. I guess I'm dead to... This attack leaves me dead to a removal spell, which makes it a little bit loose. So I block here, and then I sack this, shoot this, deal one upstairs. Alright, need a hit. Got two draws. Brick. God, what a what a sad end to an otherwise excellent game of magic. That's fine. We get to play the next game on the play. That was that was very tight. Very, very impressed with Theater of Horrors. If wild cards make any deck, what do you think is really strong? Are there any new decks that I should should look at? Um there's a lot of variations of Grull have felt good. Black White Angels has felt good. And this deck's felt really reasonable. Do you think I want Pestilent Spirit? I don't know that I do. I don't know that I really want to cut anything. I like a lot of the cards in my deck. I guess Pyromancer is a little bit mediocre if my opponent is. Pyromancer becomes mediocre if my opponent's playing Tikatli on our guard. It, like, doesn't attack. It doesn't have a trigger. I'll swap two. We'll play two-two. Just coward split it. Like, five different ones that drew deck. Whichever the last build was. I'll also be putting my preferred iteration of Black White Angels up on my website tomorrow. So it'll be up tomorrow night. Yeah, I think so. Also, like, you don't have to be... <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, we've not played Golgari on stream since the new sets dropped. Why is Pest better than Bedevil here? Well, Pest is a threat that can apply pressure as well. Also, because it has Menace, it can kind of attack through plane to Planeswalkers, which is nice. Two pair Fiend Kicker. God bless. What's my favorite deck in current standard? Definitely Bant Flash. So I think I do this, and I'm gonna Fire Blade, but not attack here. 
Because this can deal damage to anything when it dies. So next turn, I'm going... Because if I attack with both of these, they're going to block Fireblade Artist. So next turn, I'm going to sacrifice this to shoot this and deal two to them. And then we can get my Light the Stages going. Is there a list for my band flash deck? Yeah, whatever the last list is posted in my in my stream decker or the video from yesterday. The band flash will also be up on my website tomorrow. But for now, you just have to dig through YouTube archives on my stream decker page. Do I like this deck or Memekin? I kind of like this deck better. So like Memekin's more of a combo deck. This is like a tricky aggro deck. And I'm really a fan of like tricky aggro decks. So here's the thing about Gutter Bones versus Fiend. One of the things that a lot of people don't consider enough of the time is that your mana base is also dictated by your spells. Trying to play a one mana black card on one means our mana base needs to be very different than what it currently is in this deck. Do I light up the stage again here? If I hit another three drop, I feel really bad. Yeah, I think that's a fair comparison speed. So like I could fire blade and just attack for two, attack with both. I think I fire blade and attack with both. In, in general, sequencing the lights up, light up for a couple of turns is ideal. I agree with that. And then next turn, we can pay for... If, let's assume we draw a blank next turn. We can pay for, ping them with theater, and then play light up the stage to have cards for the following turn. Brutal. I'm gonna send this upstairs and play this stage up. I just need more cards here. We're not we're not winning with the cards that we currently have. So I'm gonna shoot this. I think there's a chance they save it. And like, yeah, so, and now once they save it, this footlight fiend makes it really embarrassing that they saved it. Okay, okay. okay I mean like, our board's empty, but that feels like a win, right? This deck's been really sweet, Dannon. Theater, theater of Horrors continues to impress. Uh, light up the stage continues to be absurd. We're at a four turn clock right now. We can kill them with two draws, which is nice. We're at a three turn clock. So they put us to seven, we draw a lethal spell. They put us to three, we draw burn spell. So we could still win here. That was a mistake. I should have pointed that at a Danto Vanguard again because they probably save it and then the Goblin is lethal too. So that was a mistake on my part. I targeted the wrong thing. 
Let's see if there's justice in the world. If I'd have targeted the Vanguard and they saved it, dude, this trigger would be lethal right now. So we're dead to another Conclave Tribunal here, which they could have because they've been holding a card in their hand. Hey, W card. Thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Yeah, I could give up on it. That was really close. So, my mistake ended up not mattering, but let's play, let's play one more here. I'm gonna dig up what this deck is doing. That's a lot of small sequencing. You can find this deck on your screen right now via the Stream Decker widget, or you can also type exclamation point deck in chat and get a direct link for easy importing. I always do my best to make my information accessible for folks watching. I appreciate all of y'all being here, so might as well make things easy for you. Yeah, that's true. It would have mattered if they didn't save the Adanto, but I think they'd probably go to one and save the Adanto. It's their clock. Man, this hand is good. No, I'm going to do one more deck. I know there's only one more in the title, but I honestly wasn't expecting to have this many people today, so I was only going to do about eight hours, but we're going to add another deck in here because y'all are great. Is Jeskai still better than Esper? We don't know. I have yet to see a good version of Esper, but control decks and mid-range decks like that are so difficult to build that you really takes a long time to get them right. So even if there ends up being a good Esper list in the format somewhere, we definitely won't know what it is for a little while. Oh, I'm saying that. You just missed a really good match, by the way. Oh, I ended up losing a close game three, but it was like game two was like absurd. No, no, oh, fuck. Ah. No, that's fine, you're way in. <coughs> that sucks. You still win comfortably. Uh, the, it really, and this is the game trying to be quick, but the fact that it, it puts the button up before, it puts the button up for end of turn before the attack animation goes up. That's nowhere near the first time I've done that. Huh. Yeah, we, believe it or not, we'd probably be really far ahead if I hadn't time walked myself, but <laughs> we're here now, so let's move along. Uh -oh. How many games do I play per deck? You, I play decks for a given amount of time. So decks that are faster tend to get more games in. Usually I play decks for somewhere between 90 minutes and two hours. Your hand is just juice. My hand is very good. Like this game wouldn't be particularly close if we oh. hadn't messed up. That's just the classic nine. Yep. That's fine. They're on fire! Oh, oh. we got a main deck negate? Wow, woof. Thank you, War Wizard, for being a reasonable adult and apologizing instead of coming back and spewing profanity. You know, remember that time we had a bunch of draws to kill them in our deck after we time walked ourselves? Pepperidge, Pepperidge Farm remembers. I agree. The animation that said are really good. Both Adapt and Spectacle are A+, and that's not even before we begin to talk about Seraph. Broken Charge Stream, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw up there mid-sentence for a second. Broken Charge Streams, thank you very much for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome. That was actually a very good draw. 
sure they're taking Yaldrin, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime support. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So I'm striking this now as opposed to after Judith dies. Because if I strike it now, Judith can target their face. And now, like, they have to kill this. And I have a bunch of draws in my deck to kill them after after I type one myself. Your content is awesome and stream is good at helping a new Magic player such as myself. Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying Magic Arena. We could not lightning strike. So I couldn't lightning strike their face chat because Shalai gives the gives my opponent hex proof. So Miss Chat Lethal, chat. God bless. Hurry. There's a good chance they have counter spells now, but I'm gonna take one more draw at Every least. Has a solution. Of course, Carnage. Welcome to the party. All right, got going now. One last shot. It's the chance to roll. Yes. Do, 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 do. Yes. Absorb. All right. So I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count this as a game win for the deck, because there's no way <laughs> they don't end up dying there if I don't click through my first cut, my first step there. This my bad, chat. I apologize. My B. All right. This is definitely a theater matchup. It's a duress. Discard spell matchup. That's kind of the lightning strikes, probably. Yeah, Just leave these in. Okay. Need one more trim here. The skewer, maybe. I need some reach, right? But I guess I have plenty. Uh, uh hear me out. Cut a Judith. Cut a Judith. Yeah, I think you, I think you want to cut on threes because you're adding. I guess yeah, I'm adding more threes and. You're trimming. They have a lot of sweepers and spot removal, which keeps my curve, which keeps my earlier threats down. And she's worse if we're not curving into her having threats. Does that make sense? Hey, Wolfie, of course. I honestly think Theater is just a better card than Frenzy. So Frenzy's a more volatile card. The ceiling on Frenzy can be incredibly high, but Theater is an incredibly consistent card. It's a card that guaranteed draws you one card per turn, one extra card per turn, and it gives you sequencing decisions over everything, whereas Frenzy, you don't have any control. Oh, yeah. Isn't Drill Bit just significantly better in Duress for reason of not being able to grab things? It's not guaranteed significantly better. Do I light up the stage to trade at my last guarantee? I would attack first, yeah, and then I would light. I would like to need the first one. Yeah. I'm going to still in here if you miss. Yeah, it's un unfortunate that I'm only gonna be able to play one of these. Oh. That's really gross. Aggro decks want to duress first, drill bit happens second. I agree with that assessment. Drill bit is notably, drill bit is much, much worse. It can settle the wreckage as well. Duress lets you peek in at a card like that before it happens. Wow, our opponent, our opponent is ready for the aggro matchup. Red source. Okay, sweet. So I get to do this. I get to vanish show. I get to skewer this. And like, we have an uphill fight here, but... We're not, we're not just dead by any means. I don't know. Like, their thing has lifelink. Oh, that thing has lifelink. Yes, yes. It's, it's, a, it's a lifelinking bear. Oh, wow, well. This is the start, I think. Yeah, I would... I would. I guess they don't, they don't have settle up, so yeah, I just I attack to start. Alright, that's fine. I, this still triggers like the stage. Yeah, oh, you want me to get... I think I want lands, right? Because theater's better with lands. And, like, I have duress to force the theater through. All right, good. We did. Do I have to do this again? I would stick the theater while you can. Oh, I can stick the theater this turn guaranteed. Yep, you're right. I agree. I agree. You can do it through duress, so that doesn't suck. Nope, yep, I agree with you a little bit. So this is going to be a really long game. <laughs> it is, yeah. We are, we are gearing up to try and slog through. No Planeswalker there is very good for us. You can activate and light. 
I think I'd rather dress. Yeah, that's fine too. I mean, you're fighting uphill battle, but you're going two cards a turn. Yeah, we are. We are technically ahead at the moment. We're close. We're close to parity, but as long as theater's in play, we're winning. We have a howling mine, and they don't. Uh, for those of you that are new to magic, when I say howling mine, that refers to an effect yep. where it allows a player to draw two cards a turn. So theater four is effectively letting us draw a second card a turn. So we refer to that as a mine effect or howling mine effect in magic jargon. Uh, this is actually going to be our last match with this deck. We've been playing it for a while and I like it a lot. There's a lot of neat things going on. This card, this card is just incredibly powerful. This is the only way I beat the Jeskai deck the other night was I had this that card judith and gutter bones and i just kept losing over and over. what would you really get to beat yes it's just blade walkers so you can double you can cannot control. quite double tap it that's good though that kills it no it doesn't cuz i the, the you during your turn if theater if your opponent lost life so this has to hit them do I try and just light? Do I do I, I shoot hit, them and then light at the stage? Yeah, I think that's the line. Because if I hit a uh, the deal three the skewer, I can kill this. Either way, brittle firebrand. I mean, Ral's like man pull now, right? The spirit's been really good. Spirit gives you nice clean outs to bigger threats like Lyra, which is nice. What's the win percentage of this deck? I have no idea. The win percentage of a deck doesn't really tell you whether or not it's good or bad. Oh, that's scary. Karn is is tough. I would like some solutions must be. Oh, they find an answer? Oh, they they moused over the theater. I was like, oh no. Okay. Oh. Um, so. That's so rough. Yeah. This'll kill Karn next turn. So I could do this. Theater. I just double tap Ral, right? Theater Ral. Fire can firebrand? I forgot what firebrand is. Does it shoot? It shoots it shoots planeswalkers, but I only have eight mana. So I can't like I can't kill both walkers. Four. Because Five. this doesn't trigger spectacle if it hits a planeswalker. You don't, you don't need spectacle. It's three mana to cat can't you just cast it? Am I missing something here? Oh yeah, I do. I do this to here, yeah. and then do this, and then this. Okay, that takes the fire. I was trying to do it without taking the firebrand off the table. You're right. Yeah. Okay, okay. that just makes that makes sense. Everybody. Yeah. And then this goes here, and then all of a sudden we're ahead again because we're drawing two cards in there. Not. We've answered both their planeswalkers. <laughs> yeah, I already played a land. Huh. I'm shocked to discover I lost. Okay. I'm shocked to discover I lost. Oh, Ral. All right, and then, uh, wow. Yeah, we're, I, I'm not building it tonight on stream, but tomorrow, I, uh, Monday, we are playing a 4X Theater of Horrors deck. So I, need, I need to figure out what the best way to build that is, because this, this card is hey. just, just absurd. All this, the five on this deck. Yes. This one, this one. It's ba yeah, it's basically a Planeswalker. If anybody ever played with Outpost Siege during Cons of Tarkir Standard, this card is better than Outpost Siege. Like, by a lot. The fact that it's a Mana Sync 2, just like 4 mana 1 you, is just like, this is everything well, I want to be doing in my life. You're going to be able to double activate next turn, too. Which is nuts. I was doing that at one point, too. I had 12 lands, I was triple activating. Yep. They're going to probably pull ahead here, but... Yeah, we played a little bit of Blasting Cannons. This card's definitely better than Blasting Cannons. And the, the fact that all the cards stay under theater turn to turn is what makes it so, so very good. <laughs> all right, well, hopefully they have a five mana Planeswalker they couldn't cast this turn and we can take it away. It's much better than Frixian Arena. Oh God, you can do all this. Yeah, yep. And you can activate it. And I can activate it again, yep. Yeah, definitely. Both of these. Watch. Okay. Go. It just checks their time for I guess, for a while. 
Yep. Uh, I have 11? No, 10. Yeah, you're right. Oh, they've been in the gate. That's unfortunate. That that basically shuts down theater. Skewer lightning strike, please. We need one of those. Yeah, we need coils? skewer or lightning strike under here. Your coils in your deck or no? Uh, I do not, because we didn't see angels. Dang. Is theater playable in modern, John? No, that is not what modern is about. Stop it. What? Stop trying to put slow grindy cards in your modern decks. Mm. So like, that's rough. Should we be able to attack? Why not attack with Pyromancer? You can't, this doesn't ping creatures, chat. <laughs> Stop! This card is- Holy I get that this shit. card is busted, Thousand and I've just been like, this card is mono busted, but like, it's not- It's not- it doesn't do that, okay? Come on now. What's, what's under there right now? This card's great, but it's not like... Is there a light up the stage over there? Play design exists now. There is a light up the stage. So yeah, so, so next turn I'm gonna attack with both of these. Because if I attack with both of these next turn, these will- I'll get to draw four, four cards, basically. Yeah. Why not start destroying his lands with theater? God bless. You can't do that, sir. How do I? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I just attack with both. Yeah. If they have a removal spell, I'm sad, but like we're pretty far behind at this point. You can get sealed away. That's unfortunate. I'm sad. I'm sad that we don't get a third game here because I misclicked the first game to die, but yeah. And again, just like, especially early in the format, the big things I'm looking to take away isn't even just like the entire idea of the deck so much as like what cards feel good. Judith just continues to be absurd in every single deck we put it into. Um, Light up the stage is very good in these low curve red aggressive decks. How do you feel about Rick's Maddie? I don't know what that card does. That's the discard. Is it very good? What are you talking about? When it discards a oh, card. It helps if I could. Ricks. Oh, the Reveler. Yeah, this card's interesting. So, like, the problem with Ricks plus Theater plus Light Up the Stage is, like, that's so much card advantage. And, like, I think in a different standard format, this card would be really good. But between light up the stage and the theater i think these two cards outclass this one most of the time people need to read shalai really bad um but yeah pe the other the other takeaway yeah. from playing this deck was that this card seems awesome in red black aggro the fact that this card has menace is relevant the fact that this card gives you answers to things like shalai and Lyra without having to stop playing cards that you want to be playing for Reach anyways. Yeah. That that seems very, 